Greetings and salutations. I am your humble Adobe instructor, AJ Wood, and you're watching episode number 29 of I Create Content. Hey everyone, appreciate you tuning in to today's show. If you caught Monday, well, technically Tuesday's episode, we were talking about Lightroom, specifically how to create dynamic black and white images using the develop module. Speaking of the video that you see on your screen, if you're watching this on YouTube, that's a clickable hotspot. That'll take you right to the video. In fact, I throw up stuff on the screen all the time that you can click on if you're watching on the YouTube channel. Today, we've got a Photoshop video for you, but it's really an answer to a Lightroom question. I've had lots of people watch my watermarking video and they said, how did you create the graphic watermark that we see? So today, I'm going to show you in Photoshop how to create a graphic watermark that you could save and use in Lightroom. Let's go ahead and take a look. You can see on the screen in front of you, I've got an image that uh, we used actually in the last video. And what I wanted to mention is if I'm going to create a graphic watermark, I like to use an image as a reference. So I'm just going to create a text based watermark here. And what I'm going to do is just put a little banner runner across the bottom of the screen. So I want to have this as my little banner watermark. I'm going to fill it with white and that can be edit fill white or you can do command or control backspace to quickly fill with the background color. So I've got this little white runner and I'm going to put a text layer on top of it. And I'm just going to choose a simple font and then just type my name. Okay, and I'll just kind of move this into place. Now, if all I wanted to do was just this, that's kind of a, a flat watermark, but more importantly, there's no transparency in it, right? So the question that I really received was, hey, I want to do a watermark, but I want to have transparency. So let me add that to this watermark here. And I'll go ahead and just on my layer one, which is my little white banner, I'm going to add a mask and then I'll use a gradient to just fade this out. If you need a refresher on that, go ahead and click the icon you see on your screen. You can review our gradients and layer masking video. So here I've added a gradient and I don't need the picture anymore. I want to save this as a watermark, so I really don't need the picture. What I'm going to do is throw away the background layer and you can see now I just have this watermark on transparency. The next thing I need to do is crop this down so I only have the portions of the watermark that I need. So this would be the actual transparent watermark. Now I know you can't see the white background because it fades out, so I'll just hold the shift key and disable the mask. So there's the white with the mask, it actually fades into transparency. This is what we want as the graphic watermark. So what I'll do next is just go to the file menu and I'll choose save for web. And you could just go file save if you want. And in this dialog box, and I'll resize it so you can see it, I'm just going to choose my desktop. I'm going to make this a PNG and we'll call this watermark. Okay, we'll do this as watermark number one. It's a PNG. Now the reason I'm saving it as a PNG, that file format will keep the transparency. So PNG files will do an alpha channel transparency, which is much better than a GIF because a GIF or a GIF will only do a single color. So this will actually have the feathered transition of that white banner. So I just call this watermark one. I'm going to stick it on the desktop and click save. And this is just one version of a watermark. I'm going to quickly just bring up the image again because I did want to show you an actual graphic. So there's my logo. Um, and what I'll do with this is I'll just free transform it. And once again, I like to just have an image up so I can kind of get an idea of scale, right? So I'm just going to kind of place it maybe, oh, we don't want it to be that big. Make it about this size. And then I would probably stick it over in one of the corners. 
So once again, this is the watermark. Now I'm going to get rid of the background. And you can see because it's round, I'm having it on transparency. So I would crop it once again. And I'll just crop this as tight as I can possibly get it. Move that so you can see it. I'll zoom it up a little bit. And you can see this is the watermark. So this is the actual size of the watermark. And once again, I'll do file, I'll do save. I'll call this watermark number two. And I'll save it off as a PNG file. Hey, okay, there we are. Go ahead and save. So now I have two PNG files. Let me quickly flip over to Lightroom to show you how we actually pull those in. Okay, I'm going to pull up that same image. I'll just go to the slideshow module. I'm going to go and pull up edit watermarks. And I'm going to delete this watermark that I have here because it's not working. And I'll do a new graphic watermark. All I need to do is choose it. Here's watermark number one. There it is. I can place it in the photo. I want it on the bottom. I can go ahead and scale it up a little bit. There it's scaled to fit. I'll go ahead and save this as graphic one. There it is. It shows up in the image. If I want to do a second one, show you that logo. I'll edit watermarks. Choose a different graphic. There it is. I don't want this one to be quite as big, so I'll size it down. Place it over in the corner. I give it a little bit of an offset. There we go. And then I'll save this, this time doing an update as graphic number two. I'll hit create and hit done. So you can see there's the watermark inside of Lightroom. For a full video on how to create watermarks within the Lightroom module, you can go ahead and click the video you see on your screen. Hey, that'll take you directly to my Lightroom 3 watermarking video. If you like this tutorial on how to create graphic watermarks, please give me a thumbs up. Right? I always appreciate it when you subscribe to the YouTube channel. And of course, if you have questions, if you want your questions answered in video format, go ahead and connect with me on Facebook, on Twitter, on Google+. You can always leave comments here on the YouTube channel or even my blog, ajwood.com. So appreciate you guys tuning in. I'll see you on Friday.